Craig, here we are. What is that? Warm money for our Ferrari. Hey there, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels and welcome to flipping $400 into a Ferrari where I started with just an initial investment of $400 and I'm gonna buy and sell cars until I can afford a Ferrari in hopefully under 12 months. And I'm gonna take you along with me for the entire road traveled and show you all the good and all the bad that's happened along the way. Now, what you see behind me is a 2008 supercharged saline with 465 horsepower. That is not part of this series. I purchased this car last fall. It's been sitting in my garage and it is a beautiful day in New Hampshire today. The snow has melted and the toys are coming out. This video today is not about that car. It is about this Jeep Wrangler and you'll notice an Audi A4 is not here because it has already sold before I even had time to make this video. My $400 car has sold. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna give you an update on where we are, what we did and how we're doing it. Let's get started. So hey there, once again, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels. I own a small car dealership in New Hampshire. We love Jeep Wranglers and we love our toys. Anything that makes me smile is what I'm into and anything that makes other people smile, I'm into that as well. Well, I originally started with $400 when I started this business and I'm not gonna give you the full recap of where we are now because we're like 11 or 12 episodes in already. I can tell you we're at $12,500 or a green Jeep Wrangler and $2,500 in cash. Now I started with $400 because that's how I started my business. I don't need another car dealership, but I do want a Ferrari. So I'm gonna teach you how I started my car dealership with just $400 and rolling it into the next car and then into the next car and the next car and the next car and the next car and so on and so on and so on. So what vehicle on our Ferrari are we? What number, Nick? Have we sold five, six, seven? We did the Accord, oh the Malibu, the Accord, the Fusion, or Milan. Right. Then we did, did we, we did the Cadillac SRX. You took a hit on that, remember? I took a hit on the SRX, the Equinox. The Equinox. So that's five. Then we bought the Trailblazer SS, so mm -hmm. that's six. six. Then the Jeep is seven, seven, and the Audi is eight. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> well, a few weeks ago, I bought this green Jeep Wrangler, and it is finished, but the problem is, I ran out of money. So I'm gonna show you what I do when I don't have any money to spend, but the cars still need work. That's part of this episode. Number two is the Audi A4 that I bought at the auction a few weeks ago for just $800. I think it was $800, right around $800. Well, I sold it so fast that I didn't even get to make the full video of it. Is this my $1,500 car? Let's check this out. This is a 98 Audi A4. Is it a 2.8? Uh, yes, it is. 2.8 Quattro. Is it a five speed? Yes. It is. I might bid on this. I like this car. It's old, it's dated, but these are actually really reliable. These are great cars, and in a five speed is what I'd want it in. Two hours later. Wait a minute. Uh oh. How did I miss that fender? How did I not see this section of the car? I must have gotten too excited, saw it from here, ran over current inspection sticker. That's amazing. I must have done this. Yup, 2.8, and then opened it up and got inside. So we'll probably be 125 into a tri-coat paint job, and then a detail. Now this is a pearl coat, meaning it's a tri-coat. We have the base coat, see right there it says base coat. Then we have the pearl coat, and then after that we clear it. So it's gonna take lots of coats Lots of flash time, minimum 15 minutes until tacky. Like if you put your finger on it, left a fingerprint, that's tacky enough to spray the next coat. Don't put your fingerprint on it. And then we keep going and then we let it sit and dry. Bumper prepped, ready for paint. Fender, this is dusting of the base coat. Hey German, yes. can I borrow you for a minute? So I've partnered with this new product called Skillshare. And a lot of these companies will give me like a trial offer so I can try it out and learn what it is. And then if it's worth using, I'll talk about it to you guys and then you can use it. Let me tell you what it's all about. 
So this website gives you classes that you can watch. Like instead of like YouTube videos that are shot by anybody, this is very specific to whatever you're looking for and it's all shot by professionals. So here is Skillshare. It's online classes in all types of categories, including animation, creative writing, film and video, fine art, graphic design, illustration, music, photography, and more. They're basically online courses that you can pay a subscription for. Instead of buying one course, you get all kinds for a low monthly payment. You can cancel anytime and you can pick and choose what you want. And instead of watching one hour and a half long video, they're in segments of a few minutes long. So I learned a lot from watching the classes from Marques Brownlee about editing and video creation. It was really helpful for me. All these videos and the entire subscription is under $10 a month. Access to all of these topics instead of purchasing one single course. Highly recommend it. I've used it. The first thousand people to use the link below in the description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. Absolutely worth trying and it's free. So you might as well go check it out. So this thing has been cleaned and detailed. We put the mats in and everything, but it's just not perfect. So if you see the side of the seats, there's some like dust and dirt in here and in the crevices. I know that it can look better than how it looks right now. And even this seat, I feel like this seat can come out better and I wanna see it a lot cleaner. Now for the price range, it's probably gonna be between two and $2,500. Who really cares? Like beggars can't be choosers. You can't be that picky in a $2,000 to $2,500 car that passes inspection. But still, I want to be picky. And something like this, I want it to be mint. Now you can see the headliner was sagging a little bit. So all we used was push pins to just get it all up in place. Who cares? Again, 2,500 bucks. You get what you get and you don't get upset. But look at the door panels. These door panels are so nice. I love the blue accents on it. And the five speed is what really makes this thing amazing. And then the books are here too. All the owner's manuals, I'd love to find the window sticker. So it's great to find these Audis and BMWs, Mercedes with the maintenance stamps that tells you what was done on certain times. Oh, look at like here. That's cool. Oh, and they took the magazine. Hey kids, so before MP3 players and iPods, we used to put CDs in a magazine back here. You could only listen to six of them. So you'd have a choice of six CDs that you could listen to and you'd have to shuffle through the CDs to get to the song you wanted. That's how it worked in the 90s. Ah, the Volkswagen full-size spare and the kid is still back there. So this car is clean already, but if you look in here, all this stuff is like driving me crazy. This is dirty and there's just like kind of debris and dust everywhere. Yep. Can you take the Typhoon first, blow it all out, blow everything out, open all the doors out, blow everything out, then take the uh, purple power gun that shoots everything and spins, spray all the jams, everything, and then, you know, the one that spins real fast that you use on the interior, like the carpets and the leather? If you can find that, try that on this leather seat. I want to see how this comes out. Here too, take the purple power, spray everything, let it soak. This whole back wall, I think, will come out really, really nice. All this stuff will come off too. And then use the uh, pneumatic gun to let it kind of circle and, and clean everything up and then rinse it down. Just be careful not to get like all the electronics like back here. So we have this thing right here that spins at high RPMs and shoots our degreaser on the sill panels and all in here. We use it on the leather as well as the engine. Here's what the area looks like after it's cleaned. Craig, here we are. What is that? More money for our Ferrari. Did you sell the Audi? Audi's gone. I listed that thing yesterday. Tax time and the stimmy checks must have come in. 2,500 bucks. I don't think we sold it for enough. I mean, it's nice to have the cash in hand. Easy sale, out the door. I noticed this Audi was replacing a different Audi. You sold the A4 before I could even make a video. That's how fast it sold. Yeah, full price. There was a kid, um, Audi fanatic. All his friends drive Audis. He has an Audi himself that he drives like as a daily driver. So he was gonna make 
the other one, his daily driver, like, and he turned this one into his daily driver. It literally sold in less than one day. I listed it one night, I came in the next day, German had already sold it. If you don't know German, you haven't been watching this channel long enough. So while we're at it, let's go through some of the fun stuff that we have. This right here is my supercharged saline, 4.6 liter supercharged V8, five speed with 42,000 miles. I love this car. It did have Lambo doors when I bought it, which was kind of annoying. I got rid of the Lambo doors and put on the stock hinges that I got from Ford. Everything has been redone from Celine, from the seats, to the headrests, to the rear, to even the door panels and gauges. Anything with a little boost puts a smile on my face. And if you watched my video last week on why car prices are so high, here is the Hummer that I bought that I swore I would never ever buy again. Yes, I did buy another Hummer. And we're gonna bring this thing back to life and try to move this. Again, not part of the $400. Now, when I purchase a car, I'm using what I have for the money plus the cost of repairs. So I purchased that Jeep Wrangler for $8,500. I put about $1,500 into it and then it needed tires. I ran out of money because it wasn't in the budget. So I'm not using my extra capital towards this project. Now, the Audi I was into for about $1,000, maybe $1,100 even after paint and it sold for $2,500 in one day. Now we did go through the car. It was a cream puff when we bought it and that's one of the reasons why I bought it. I just wasn't expecting to sell it that fast and unfortunately I think that means I sold it too cheap. And in this business, sometimes it's good to just move. Sometimes turnover is better than hanging on to it. I could have kept that car for longer and made an extra 500, but it's moving and I can keep the cycle going. So I still have this Jeep. The weather has broke, the snow has melted. I have a plethora of Jeep Wranglers, and I've already sold two this week. So this green Jeep Wrangler should be gone anytime now. Here is the final product. So I needed to figure out a way to get tires for this Jeep Wrangler. So here's what I did. So I was going to just sell this Jeep Wrangler with it needing tires and explain to you how I make it the customer's expense. So we usually use that into negotiation and we'll say, well, we'll give you tires at our cost, you pay for them, or I'll reduce the price of the Jeep in consideration of needing tires, or I'll do tires and you give me all the money. So, so it's a negotiation tactic for it to need tires because people want to negotiate anyway. So it gives them a reason to negotiate, which they were going to do anyway, and it saves you the $1,000 on tires one way or another. But now that I'm driving, when I let go, it pulls right to the left, and it is a rough, rough ride. It's loud. If anyone test drives this thing, they won't be buying it. So... I'm gonna have to do tires on it now. I did already replace the windshield. So the airbag light has been on in this Jeep and I just noticed something right here. Please be the seatbelt restraint and this should put the airbag light out, I believe. Let's see if the airbag light shut off. Shut off, come on, shut off, shut off, shut off, shut off, shut off. Ah, come on, man. Yes, 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 oh, wait. I swear it just shut off, right? And now it's back on? Dang it. Next day, Jeep Wrangler's getting tires. The old tires. Here's the Jeep before going in for tires. I'm at the tire shop now and I get to pick it up tomorrow after a four wheel alignment and four brand new tires. Oh, I didn't even think about it. I was thinking that I'd have to do a fifth tire and I was kind of cheaping out by not doing the fifth. It doesn't even have a fifth wheel, so I don't even have to do a fifth tire. Score two hours later oh wow look at these tires that completely just changed the look of this jeep those things are so good looking oh my goodness well worth every penny i just spent that is going to sell this jeep and here's how i'm paying for it i'm going to use my credit card and i'm going to get the points for it i'm also not going to have to pay that off till the end of the month so which means it gives me 20 days to sell that before I even have to pay for those tires on my credit card. Free money plus points, plus it's an easy way to track your expenses. So, so now while we wait for that Jeep Wrangler to sell, I have $2,500 to go to the auction and buy some more cars. So the next video, I'm gonna take you with me to spend $2,500. The problem is it's tax time and those stimmy checks showed up. So everything is expensive. So it's a lot more difficult for me to find inventory right now. So it might be a little tough for me to find something in that $2,500 price range. But when I do, 
it's gonna sell quickly because everything in that price range is tax check and stimulus check money. I have to keep moving the process forward. I have to keep going, even though that Jeep Wrangler hasn't sold yet. Now this project is taking some time. I'm probably four months in and I'm $12,500 in as well. But remember, I started with just $400 and in under six months, I have $12,500. That's a half a year salary for a lot of people and I'm doing it part time. I can't just focus on this Jeep and just the Audi and this series. I have a lot of cars I buy six to eight Eight cars a week that I have to buy, fix, recon, clean, and sell and run the business all while focusing on my side project, right? The series is a side project to show you you don't have to do it full time. Whether you're buying cars or couches and selling them for a profit, it's a side business, right? This is a side hobby for you guys to do. Do it legally. We're not skipping titles. We're not hiding cash from the government. You're, we're not skipping titles. We're not hiding any cash. Make sure you're not breaking laws because you will get caught. It's not worth the risk. So we currently stand at an awesome Jeep Wrangler. During Jeep Wrangler season, all the snow is melted. The sun is out, it was 65 degrees today. That thing is gonna sell. I have seven Jeep Wranglers, two of which have already sold this week. So that thing should be pretty good for me. The Audi, 2,500 bucks in our pocket. So we have a Jeep Wrangler and $2,500. I'm going to the auction tomorrow with at least the 2,500. We gotta keep turning these things while it's tax time and stimulus checks. So tomorrow we get to pick up a $2,500 car. I'll see you all next week. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit the notification. There's a little bell right here. If you hit the notifications, you get notifications every time I make a new video. And also I'm super, super excited about this passion project that's almost finished. I have a new website, www.startyourdealership.com. Tons of people have been asking me how to get your own dealer's license, how to start your own dealership, and even if you don't wanna start your own dealership, how to flip cars legally without renting licenses and doing things the wrong way. Check it out. You can put your email down below, get all kinds of notifications and emails and free tips and stuff. Make sure to go check it out, www.startyourdealership.com. I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Adios.